um, and shot muskets. These would have been like hunters that would have gone out um, to hunt uh, for food or the average uh, militia man might carry a horn um, that would be, uh, you know, he's um, in the militia and they need to supply their own powder and, right. and gun so they would supply it. Yeah, that measures the, measures the powder. Oh, wow. Nice. In 1847, so this would have been like a soldier's box that they, um, the Ladies Aid Society Christian Society would put together to sell shirts and they would have, you know, a new shirt, Paris box, coffee, tea, writing materials, candy, you know, reading material, um, a way to write home so and then we send this off to the soldiers and hope it got there uh, but especially during the winter time they were a lot of times they were stationed particularly in one spot it's easier to send things back and forth but um in when they were in the spring and summer and fall when they were on the move it was a little harder to get mail back and forth and packages and so on but they still needed the supplies yeah um but yeah so that was a nice set the neck all the way through these are authentic Civil War boots. Yes, they are. And, these, and there's authentic cans that were dug up on battlefields. And actually, uh, this would have been um, off of a vest. This would be a vest buckle, like the like the back of, with the buckle yeah. up on the back of his vest. These cans, they did have sardines back there. So this then, so they this is a sardine Ooh. can, and then this is. Who knows what was in this camp? But these were dug up at Cedar Creek Battlefield, which is in Virginia, and then this was dug up at Gettysburg Camp Leatherman, which was Field Hospital. Um, and and then the bullets. Um, Are these personally yours? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything here is personally mine. Yeah. When you when you join this hobby, you pay for everything. You yeah. Pay, you pay for. Your travel expenses, you pay for all your equipment. You, yeah, you, it's a volunteer. We do this on a volunteer basis. We don't right. now. Occasionally, we'll get to do a school program, and they'll pay us to do a school program. But most of the time, we're just volunteers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because we love it, and we love this history. What you like to and, do. Yes, and this is yeah. We want to teach history and bring history alive um, for different people. But and my mother was a historian, and she loved history, and Aww. and so she taught us history a lot when we were growing up and, and so um, so yeah I, I learned to to love history at a younger age and so I've been doing this for 30 years and have been studying and collecting and I collect a lot of my stuff on auction um, so I do have some family pieces but most of it most of it's auction um, Those are real. Wow. <laughs> Just imagine that, that that is how big the tooth actually is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, when Julian got, he had to get his pulled, they pulled it from the roof, and there was like a bunch of, yeah. Yeah, and you know, and back then, a soldier came back here for a bad tooth, they'd give him a shot of whiskey, pull it back out to the line. Oh, You're no good back here. That was it. You know. Shot of whiskey and pull it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the leech and with the and you said and that tool is what pulled teeth. So. Yeah, that's yeah. Wrap around your finger. I can, you could break the bone of your finger if you twist it enough, because it 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 grabs. I don't really oh my oh, gosh! Ow! Probably know, like, <coughs> medication.
family they obviously have today. Oh, yeah. Medication. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. This is the uh, laudrum with some main pain medication. It was 50% alcohol, 50% opium. Yeah. Oh, and it, was, it was the best pain medication, but we actually started the first drug addictions during the Civil War, after the Civil War, and we didn't know it. Because a guy would go home with an amputated arm, take a spoonful of this, 12 hours later, take another spoonful, go down to the apothecary, buy a bottle, you know. After six months to a year, there's no pain from the amputation. The pain is from the opioid withdrawal, but we didn't know that. Yeah. We didn't know what opium did to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had the good medicines, you know, back then, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, take a look at that one that's that. that's a period label. Morphia was basically opium. Cannabis they really had cannabis in it? Yes. <laughs> and what else? Chloroform. Uh-huh. And alcohol. And what's the bottom one there? A morphia soul. Morphine. That's morphine, yeah. Good painkiller. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's called one night. It's going to either kill you or cure you. One yeah. night. It was that really actual, called that? that oh, my gosh. One night cough syrup. <coughs> sulfur. Is that like sulfur? Yeah. I mean, they put stuff, you know, here, the, if you had a chest pain or a cold in the chest, right. they may be using one of these carboratic pills, which is lard, charcoal, and opium. And all it's going to do is maybe ease the pain. It's not going to cure you of any cough or heart, you know. But that's what they gave you. Wow. Silver <coughs> chloride. What did they use that for? What is that? Silver chloride. Oh, silver chloride on a wound. On a wound? Yeah, they pour that on the top of a wound. It looks like yeah. a salt. Is this real? So I've That's heard a real bone and a real bullet. It's not a human bone, but this is what it looks like. 58 caliber. Mm -hmm. Before it was fired. Jeez. And then when it hits you, this is what happens. It mashes up. This is a lamb's bone. I can get that from my butcher free. So, you know, but that's what, you know, it just mashes up. Once it hits you. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's a, that's what the standard uh, bullet was for the Civil War. 58 Dang. caliber. Oh, no, it's heavy. 58 caliber. Yep. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys have been been being pretty patient for us. I do. Well, those are shells. This is like a exploding cannonball that was fired out of the cannon and had gunpowder in here. One, two, or three okay. seconds later, it will go off either in the air. Or close to the artillery and you got metal in your ear and your nose and stuff and we're gonna have to take that metal out you know and we'll give you some pain medication you know don't worry about that we'll take it just yank it out you know you get too close to them it comes out pretty easy <laughs>
that's how you use the cup right there. Once you get on it, she this might not work for her. She's not very coordinated. You are vertigo. <laughs> what? No. Here, hang, hang let, me, let me you up. Okay. Get up. Stand up there. She's not the I, most I coordinated. <laughs> okay, okay. Just start rocking left to right. Okay, now a little step forward. You got it. Keep, you gotta pick up that right one. There you pick go. Pick it up there. Keep going. You're going. You're doing the split. Yeah. 